guys doing? Good, how are good. you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, first of all, thank you for coming in for the studio at WonderCon. Super thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, thank you for having us. Um, I have to, I guess the big thing I want to know is, uh, we're at WonderCon slash Comic-Con. What's the thing that if you could walk the convention floor right now that you would want to like geek out over or go by? I don't I, know. I, 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 I don't know what's yeah. here. <laughs> I, yeah. I've, I'd I love I to either. watch the Dark Phoenix panel. <laughs> <laughs> like in the crowd. Yeah, in the crowd. Right, exactly. I understand. <laughs> they, 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 they actually have a lot of cool stuff on sale uh, downstairs on the floor. Oh, really? You should wear like a you know stormtrooper helmet and just walk around. Oh, that around. would be cool. I just like the, yeah, I like all the costumes. I saw a really good uh, Nightcrawler Oh, you did? In the ho- yeah, at the <gasps> hotel. I can't wait to see all the costumes. Yeah, that's my cool. favorite part. Yeah, furry, you had a really furry long tail. Wow, that's the, so cool. Yeah, all the blue makeup. Yeah, I, it's really, I know you, you guys don't have the time, but it's really worth walking around. It's a lot of fun. I want to do that. And I also want to go on some of the rides at Disneyland. Funny. Oh, yeah. that's. Awesome. I think we that's should skip lunch and go on some rides. T- Tower of Terror. <gasps> Let's do that. <laughs> okay. It's funny you mentioned that. I, I am going to get into Dark Phoenix, but I wanted to know, hmm. recently uh, Fox and Disney have merged. So I really want to know, have you already asked for a free annual passport now that you're like interconnected? Yes. It's a great idea. That is a really good idea. I like that. Um, so uh, the other thing, of course, is do you have a favorite ride at Disneyland? I've yeah. only been once. What, what did you? I thought the. I think the Cars Land is really cool. The the, the whole um, sure. um, Radiator Springs. I haven't been to section. That. No, you see kids. Was, they, they're like flipping out in there. Really? Yeah, it's super cool. I it's like the. Uh, there's like a. a like a. Uh, like an experience. <laughs> but the, in is the, it soaring over yeah. California? Like, yeah. The ride, it's like the IMAX ride. It's like when you're in the like f- chair and you get lifted up. Is it, it's 4D? Yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah. like, the, like, the, like when you're on, over the orange grove, like it uh. smells like oranges. Oh. Yes, 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 that's yeah, it, that's, that's cool. it. Yeah. That's the ride, I love that ride. When did they implement that? I want to say it's been there for a little while. I think it's been there for day. a few years. Okay. Over California. I don't think I did that one. You should go, it's really yeah, good. I'll check it out. It's, yeah. really, it's really cool because when you're- During you're lunch. Right. Yeah, let's do it. You, no chance you're gonna get there. No, on lunch. no, yeah, zero, I know. zero chance. <laughs> Living in the clouds over here. Um, jumping into why I get to talk to you guys today. Uh, so I've seen the opening like 12, 15 minutes of the movie, which is awesome and completely different than the X Men movies that have come before. I wanted to know if you could sort of talk about what Simon did as a writer director that's maybe different than what people have seen thus far. Yeah, I mean it's a singular vision. And that's yeah. exciting. Um, I think no matter what the scale of the, what size the film is, you know, whether it's a $200 million movie or a $200,000 movie, like to have a writer director guiding the way um, is really nice because there's, um, there's no, uh, there's no conflict between, you know, two, two, two visions. Um, so that was, that was really nice. What's, what's great about working with Simon is that if you're struggling with something th- in the scene, like he knows the dialogue and the, you know, the, the context of the, the narratives, you know, so well, like the back of his hand, like he knows how to tweak things and, and rework things to make them work. And so I, I think he's, he's good at working like that and, and, you know, being able to, to, um, to adapt to, to when you run into s- certain issues, if you run into any or, or you're having problems with you know certain line or something so that was nice and also i think one of the things that simon's kind of done with this film is um he's made it a far more uh character driven movie and far more emotional um it's kind of you know how logan was very different in style to all of the other kind of wolverine x-men movies and it's kind of the same with this you know uh, logan was kind of like a a Western style, and and this is more of like a a family drama rather than a superhero movie. Well, one of the things is all these movies have these huge action set pieces, and those are cool. But you really don't care unless you care about the characters. And yeah. I love like the banter between you know that's what like you want to see is yeah. these characters interacting. Yeah. So talk a little bit about maybe some of like a favorite day on set filming like those dialogue driven scenes. Oof. If you have one. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good dramatic, uh, you know, scenes in this in this movie, yeah. and a, a lot of really complex um, uh, relationships in, in the characters and all the the conflict. Because what happens is, you know, when Jean Grey starts to kind of be, you know, uh, taken over by this the the Dark Phoenix 
power. I mean, it kind of splits the X-Men up into two groups. And so it causes a lot of conflict between between people. And and uh, I think that's something that we've explored in X-Men movies, but not uh, to this to this level. And, and so I think there's a lot of complexity there. So that's you know, you know, to speak to your point about the characters, I mean, that's something that's, that's really apparent in this film and really exciting. I was going to say, talk a little bit about filming Zero G and how much fun it is to try to pretend that you're in Zero G. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Is it you that's really good at Zero G? I think it's you. Yeah, Ty's excellent at Zero Gravity. I'm not so much. Uh, well, I mean, we had, I mean, it's, we had like all these uh, sliders and, and, um, you know, they're obviously like wrapped in green, so we'd paint them out. But basically, like, you know, one character is like floating through the, the, the center of the, the spacecraft. And, and uh, it was cool. It was cool to work with all, to all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's at times it becomes a little, uh, it can almost act as a barrier because like sometimes you, you just forget that you're in zero G. Did that happen to you? You're like, no. No. I <laughs> never forget I'm in zero G. I'm very. I'm a very uh, good actor. But it was fun. It was really <laughs> cool. I mean, I'm I'm excited to see, to see how the entire sequence is. Uh, it's really cool. Have you not seen the space sequence? Um, yeah, I've we seen it. it. I don't think I've seen the whole thing. I don't know. I oh. can't remember. <laughs> I, I know. No, I've seen. I've seen parts of it, but I don't think I've seen the whole thing. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll let you know. It, it's real good. Oh, that's good. It's, it's real good. So is it convincing? Yeah. Zero G. Hundred percent. And awesome. I think is I don't want. Is it better sp- than Captain Marvel's Zero G? Oh, that's a good they question. It's, yeah, they did. It's a completely different thing. Okay. Like completely, and also it's very uh, you, no, but, diplomatic. Of no, me. because your sequence. I don't want to spoil anything, but your sequence involves powers, and there's a lot going on. It's yeah. a completely different thing. You have Quicksilver. There's stuff. Quicksilver sure. scenes are always the best, right? Yeah. But but I want to. The thing is, though, is it. There, one of the cool things about that space sequence is it's all of you guys, yeah. you know, working together. And I yeah. would imagine it's not always like that on set. So are those days that you're like really looking forward to a little more when you know it's the whole team? Yeah, always. I think because like it's so much fun when all of us get together and we're all actually genuinely really good friends. And so like it's just we always just have the best time on yeah, that space on that like X jet. Those it's- scenes are always the most fun. Yeah, no, no, it's fun because they lock. They have to. You basically get lock locked, in. locked in because they're like, "All right, we're putting the side panel on. You know, we're gonna do these shots, and it you're gonna come out for the next forty-five minutes it? or something." Yeah. So yeah. we all get like cabin fever after we the are, first three days of being in the X jet. We all start playing Never Have I Ever. We do. We do. We play Never Have I Ever. Three fingers. <laughs> um. I have so many more questions to follow up on that, but I'm going to be uh, good. <laughs> Who ruins the most takes and why? Oh. Oh. I would say... Jen. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> Jen does. She just gets thrown right under the bus. Well, she would no, admit it too. I mean... She's just... It happens, you know. Yeah. It's just but that's the fun. great thing about film, you know, is like oh, you no mess up and... Exactly. Yeah, you do it again. None of us would be good stage actors. <laughs> yeah. I definitely would. No, I would be a terrible stage actor. Um, I know I'm about to run out of time. I just want to ask uh, two, three really fast, fun questions. What TV show do you want to guest star on? <gasps> Barry. Have you seen Barry? No. It's so <clears throat> good. It's I've, so I good. You would TV love it. Lately. What it's else? A, it's real good. The Cosmos. What's that? The, the, the Did you say Cosmos? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, by the way. I just want to go on and like watch them just... Sure. Shoot it. Yeah. Neil Tyson, uh, Degrassi. It's like the show about the oh, Cosmos. Oh, I've never yeah. seen it though. Yeah. Oh, I would it's love to that. It's just an interesting choice. That, that would be great. I don't know. I, I mean, so I just... interesting. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Wow. What, what film scared you as a kid? <gasps> the Witches. Oof. When she takes off. Yeah. What was that? You know, Angelica Houston is the grand high priestess witch or whatever it is. Or like 90s, right? 90s? I don't actually know the year. Does anyone know the year? Witches? It's in the 90s, right? And she, Angelica Houston like peels off her face and she's like this disgusting oh, witch. Oh, the green... Uh, she's no, got, like, I'm thinking the, the green witch from... Uh, no, from, from the Wizard, Wizard of, of Oz? Yeah. No, that was like the 20s, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, or the 30s. I think it was she's the late 30s. Stupid. Maybe it could be the 20s. I don't know. Uh, one of my last things. Is there anything that you guys collect? Oh. Yeah. What do you, what do you <laughs> collect? Um, that was a big answer. I collect pictures. Like, uh, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. That's true. And then, 
when you say pictures, do you mean like vintage pictures from like Paris in the fifties or no, like? No, I mean like like photos of my family or like Polaroids or you know. Just okay. to, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I collect um, wine corks. Do you? Why? Well, wine only corks. once I've drunk the wine, and then I keep the cork, and I remember okay. like, oh, that was a good bottle. Oh. And I keep but it in it like a little on jar. The it says on the on the cork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I, I actually do the same thing, and the cork. Really? I really do, and the cork will usually have the brand. So yeah. it's a popular thing to collect. I wouldn't know if it's popular, but but we I like, do it. At well, home. you both do it, and there's yeah, there's we have like a jar. With yeah, the, you know, but that's a whole other thing. And cool. fingernails. Fingernails. No, I'm kidding. I was gonna be like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> when you clip your fingernails, I clip my fingernails and put them in a the jar. So weird. right. Um, I got I got a, I have a million other things, but we can talk at another time. I'm just gonna say thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I really appreciate it, and I really can't wait to see the finished film.